44 inch driver shaft versus 45 inch driver shaft. So I'm looking in this video at a comparison between a 45 inch shaft and a 44 inch shaft. I've got exactly the same shaft. I've got a Tensai Blue AV series in 65 stiff. And the only difference I've got is the length. We've got the same grip, got the same tip. It's cut from the same length from the end. The spine is in the same place as well. So we've got no other differences to throw into the mix. head I'm going to use is a PXG Gen 5 is seven and a half degree driver and I'm going to put it on nine degrees at plus one and a half because seven and a half is a bit too hard to use. I want to put some of this spray spray on the face so you can get a visual on where I'm striking it with each shaft. All right let's start things off with the longer shaft 45 inches hit a few shots and see what happens. First things first I need to warm up. That should do it. Oh, that does get the blood pumping. All right, first batch of shots. So I'm going to get a clear screen. Right, 45 inches. What does it do? I've got a Shrixen Z Star Diamond for reference. So I've got a premium golf ball. Nice start. It's a little draw. Spin is a little bit too much, but I would expect that because this is softer than I would usually use. 288 and I'm going to go same T height as well. Little draw. <laughs> Turn it over. Okay, so <laughs> that wasn't very good. Big left shot. I do tend to hit it left in all fairness. 287. similar to the first shot, touch higher, touch shorter, what have we got, we've got 275, a little bit more draw, 275 carry, I'll take that, and running up to 295, nice. One, two, three, four. Let's do five with each. Shot number five. Started nice and straight, a little bit of draw. There's a grouping there with these four shots. Not too far from each other. Two, nine, seven. Not bad. So, lots of draw shapes. One erratic one, four very close to each other. Strikes on the face, a little bit varied. A little bit varied there. Okay, so I've cleaned the face. Let's get the 44 inch shaft on the go. Again, same loft setting, plus one and a half. And ready to rumble. Spray the face. Foot spray, very handy stuff. Right, shot one with the 44 inch shaft. I already feel closer to the ball. I feel kind of feeling a bit more control. On a side note, the average length of driver shaft on tour is 44 and a half inches. And we tend to get up to the 46 inch area in retail. Now the reason for that is that the tour player wants that shorter shaft to be slightly stiffer. And they also want to hit the middle of the face more often. So they're not trying to create maximum distance. And then in retail, what they're almost trying to do is give you a longer shaft so you can get that one shot out of 10 that goes further than the rest and you go, oh, I want that. So slightly different ideas. Nice, it did feel a little bit more solid. 264 spin was quite high. I've actually hit that slightly towards the heel. 282. A draw on there again. Again, I'm quite liking that shape. 279 carry. Up to 299 total. Getting a nice draw today. 267 carry. 288 total. 
The thing is with hitting a big drawer is that you need it to start right for it to come back into the target. But I don't want to start doing that. I want to keep putting a stock swing on the shot so I'm not changing my intention between the shafts. Again, similar draw, similar pattern, similar shape. 275 carry. 296, very nice. Four, and last final shot. So I would say that that's quite a healthy grouping, all in a similar sort of area, all flying in a very similar way. With the longer shaft, I had one anomaly that went extra, but that group in there is a bit more of a consistent pattern. So the spread is reduced on the shorter shaft. Let's have a little look at the data. Ball speed is only 0.1 mile an hour different. There's no loss in speed or add in speed. So the theory that the longer shaft creates more speed and gives you more distance is negligible. And the shorter shaft was actually 0.1 mile an hour faster. Launch angle, 44 inch shaft was 0.2 degrees lower. So again, we've got very similar launch. The longer shaft had 200 revs of spin more. So we've got 2,500 against 2,300. Again, lower spin with the shorter shaft, maybe because it's that little bit stiffer. The average draw spin was very similar, 650 or so. The shorter shaft actually gave slightly more on average. The distance left, so I had quite a consistency there, the distance left was four yards further left with the 44 inch shaft, which I wouldn't actually expect. I would expect that to be further right, but there we go. Peak height was one, one yard lower with the 44 inch shaft. So we've got 39 with the longer shaft, 38 with the shorter shaft. So just a little hair lower. The average carry with the longer shaft was 270 and with the shorter shaft, the average carry was 274. So we've got an extra four yards from shortening the shaft. And the average distance, I had more yardage from the 44 inch shaft. I've got five more yards in finishing distance now that might get the brain ticking and thinking about what you've got in your bag could it be worth reducing the length of your driver to potentially give you that little bit more consistency and that little bit more distance there's a reason why tall players do it and finally the strike pattern was actually very similar so we've got probably four shots right in the screws and then one that's just buried out I'd say that's a little bit tighter than we had with the 45 inch shaft but much of a muchness right if you enjoyed that watch another video and I'll see you there